Hi everyone, I'm going to show you how to sign into Overdrive on a Kobo. First of all, click the More button in the bottom right hand corner, followed by the Settings button. Then select Overdrive. You can select Get Started and then Sign In with Overdrive. Once you select Sign In with Overdrive and you're asked to find a public library, simply type in Your Library. You can then click the Go button and this will bring up all of the Your Library branches. You do have the option to choose from a particular branch or you can choose from your library admin. No matter which branch you choose from these pages here, you'll be able to access the same collection. Now that you've selected your library, you'll be taken to an OverDrive login screen. Users will be prompted with a QR code that they can use to sign in. However, we recommend using the sign in on this device button. From this screen, make sure you select your library from the drop down menu. Then you can enter in your card number and your password. Despite being asked for a PIN, users need to use their library card password. If you have forgotten your password, you can reset your password online. Now that we have successfully signed in, we have the option to browse or search. Let's start by searching. You'll notice in the top right hand corner that Overdrive is selected. That will mean that we're searching for Overdrive items and not items on the Kobo store. So make sure that is selected. Let's type in a title that we'd like to search for. You can see in the search results that we have the option to place a hold or borrow an item. As we flick through the pages, we can find which item we're after. This item here we can only place a hold. So we'll click on the item and then click on the three dot ellipses, which will then give us the place a hold with overdrive option. Just note that because we are searching within the Kobo store, you will be prompted to purchase the item. That's why you have to click on the three dots to make sure you choose the correct option. If we look in the discover tab, we can see the item that we placed a reservation on. If we click the cover of another item, we can view more information about that item, click on the three dots and select borrow with overdrive. This will connect to your OverDrive account and borrow the item on your Kobo device. If we click go to books, we can then sync the shelf and the item will appear. Now the item is showing in my books, simply click on the title to load the reader on your Kobo. You have a range of different options when using the reader from tapping or swiping across to view the different pages. If you click on the bottom or the top of the screen, you can select which page you'd like to view, change the font size and settings, or return to My Books. If we go back to the Discover page, we can interact with this page similar to if we were to be using Libby on a mobile app. We will be able to see various collections and browse through those accordingly. When it comes to removing an OverDrive account, simply click on More, followed by the Settings button, and then the overdrive option. From here, we can sign out of the overdrive account. It is best practice to sign out of the overdrive account if you're experiencing any difficulties with authenticating with your Kobo.